Barclays Center and welcome in Ian Eagle and Sarah Kustak right now. They're going to break down uh, one more final thought from this 34-point win over the Jazz. Chris, right from the very start, you could tell the Nets had a completely different mindset. Steve Nash made big changes, and you don't know what's going to happen when there's that large an adjustment in the starting lineup. You're taking on a Utah Jazz team that knows exactly who they are. They've been a pretty consistent team throughout the last few years, and the Nets picked them apart. Both ends of the floor, everything that the Nets wanted to do, they did, and you saw it in the very first quarter. Brooklyn came to work, and they set the tone on the defensive end. And for yeah. as much as we could start getting into the offensive numbers because they are glowing just the type of efficiency and unselfishness that was displayed, more of it came from the way in which they attacked Utah defensively. They got stops. They secured the defensive glass, which has consistently been an issue, and it was a sustained level of play because yeah. they got started early on but we saw the same type of focus throughout and any 